Hi, Dad. We're going to review today the G1W car cam, uh, dash cam. So we got a little box came from China. Got our stuff in it. In our box, we get our dash cam. We have a instruction manual, which does the job. We have our power cord. This portion goes in the cigarette lighter. This portion here is a SD or a um, USB, mini USB outlet. And that just goes and plugs into the camera itself. So on the camera, the mini USB plugs right in here. So you simply take that, plug it into your car and simply place in there and that would give you power. The way I've got this set up for you, as soon as you turn the ignition of your car, the unit will power up, it will automatically record, and after about five minutes, the screen itself will turn off to, as a, a screensaver, as this stuff is tremendously distracting if you're driving at nighttime and that screen is left on for too long. Uh, however, it will continue to record. It records in three minute loops. You've got about an hour of video on there with a eight gigabyte micro SD card that's inserted in the side right in here. Is your 8 gigabyte micro SD card. It's about an hour of video and it's a continual loop. So obviously as soon as the previous hour, that bit of hour gets used up, it just records over it in a never ending loop of video. So it just sits there like a silent witness. Hopefully you'll never need it. Um, and let's see what else you get. You have a attacher that goes onto the windshield, uh, which is pretty basic. This portion here, this little knobbly bit here, you're simply going to slide into this portion here and then it will hang down from the uh, window. I ordered an extra one of these for a couple extra dollars. Much better. This is designed to hang off the rear view mirror so it's quite simple obviously how this unscrew it comes apart. It slides over the attachment for the rear view mirror and then you've got various bits of rubber so you can make a nice firm mounty in there. You can unscrew this a little bit so you can play around with the angulation so you've got the camcorder or the dash cam pointing in front of the car. It also comes with a cable. I've got hooked up in here my USB outlet in the wall so you can just get a little bit of electricity. The units themselves have a little bit of battery in them so that way it will keep the date and time stamp on it automatically which it has. So looking at the different bits on it you've got your power button here, you've got your menu button here and then various other functions you could do. So to power it up let's turn the power on and it'll automatically come on. You can then play around with the menu setting. You can just go up and down to play around with these different features. I've got it all set up for you. So you, don't, you don't really have to play with it if you don't want to. Um, the date and time is already set to Vancouver time. The power, power saving, all those functions are already set. So um, you, just, you just literally turn the ignition on the car and the unit will power up. Uh, and it'll continue to start recording right away. As soon as you turn the power off of the ignition, the electricity should cut out to your cigarette lighter and this will continue recording for I think another one minute or three minutes after power is cut out. So it's a, it's a pretty functioning unit. Now the, the graphics on this camera are excellent. Take very very good optics. You can clearly read license plate numbers daytime, nighttime and I, I'm really impressed with it. Um, I bought it off eBay, a store called eStore009, uh, and it you know paid for it, 65 bucks Canadian. A couple of weeks later, it shows up your door. So let's fire it up as if you'd actually use it in the car. So this just, I'm going to have to do this with one hand, so it's not going to be easy. We're simply going to place it down, place our power at the top, see if I can do that with one hand. Probably not. Oh, there we go. Slides in. There you go. Automatically powers up. You'll see a little red light will flash. And that means, there you go, and that means the unit is recording. So that's all you have to do. As soon as you turn the ignition, that's what will happen. Uh, we'll simulate unplugging it. You don't, Remember in the car, you don't have to take the cable out. You just have to turn the ignition off. And with another 30 seconds or a minute or three minutes, however long I've got a program for, I don't remember, it'll automatically turn off. So let's just say hypothetically, a couple years down the road, you've been in an accident, and now you want to retrieve your data. Simply all you do is on the side here is a little micro SD unit. You have to push it and you'll feel a little audible click. It's all very difficult with one hand. I can't quite get it with one hand. Ah. I can't 
can't quite get it out with just one hand. Anyway, the thing just, there you go, Phil, there you go, a little click. And the unit just slides out. So that little tiny micro SD card is what it looks like. Teeny tiny little thing, that's eight gigabytes of memory. You simply slide it into the normal size SD unit. Once you slid it in there, somewhere on your computer will have an SD card reader. On mine, it's just here. You just, and there'll be a little click as it slides in. Then you can access the files on there, and they'll be in .mov files. And they'll be each will be a three minute loop, and you can access it. Uh, save it to your computer, and then hand it off to your insurance company. To get this a little bit back in, you simply take it back into the unit. Don't force it because it can go one of two ways. If, it, if you've got it in the wrong way, you're going to wreck it. It doesn't slide in right away. And when you push it down, you get your fingernail on it. You can audible, there you go. It's nicely in place now. So it's all ready to record. Um, overall, yeah, it's, it's a very nice little unit. You would pay probably at least, I think, treble for North America if you bought it from some shop. Um, so all in all, I'm impressed with a little bit of kit. So there you go, Dad. Any other questions, just ping me an email and I'll walk you through how to use this stuff. All right, bye.